Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at my account, my progress since I basically went pro and it has been less than two months and we have basically done quite a lot in this game um, when I took the route to go competitive again. Today I'm going to go ahead and break everything down and how I did it so I hope you guys are excited if you are make sure you drop a like, subscribe, anyways going to get started. So you guys know I before before my current team I was actually in team Skyline and Skyline was the team that I actually made after uh, leaving Team Spirit 2015. Now I left Team uh, Team Spirit 2015 uh, basically because I wanted to take uh, like a break from the competitive scene because competitive scene was just getting crazy for me. You know what I mean? Like too time consuming i had a lot of things to do um and then like less than two months ago i decided to basically just open up a new team like create a new team and basically uh go on from there and so i basically got you guys to join in the team and this is everybody right now in my team uh, a lot of amazing players obviously um and uh it's growing you know what i mean so uh right now we're in the top 1800 um and every war we've been we've been winning basically um for the most part so we're doing pretty good i would say <clears throat> so basically um this war actually is very very easy very simple as you guys can see um like even the top bases are already like done for they're all dead you know what i mean um and then we got all these other ones which i'll probably actually do my attack later on but yeah um, we're going to be winning this, obviously, and then moving on to the next one. It's only given us 180. Actually, it's given us more than we were losing, so that's good. I mean, I'll take that any day, you know? Uh, but basically, when I actually created a team, everybody joined. Um, you know what I mean? We got all the players, obviously. And it, it's been going left and right, like I said. But uh, let's talk about my account. Okay, my account, this looked like poop, literally. When I when I first uh, took the competitive scene route, um, like all my monsters were like either level 1s, like these ones right here, um, or they were just like level 100s, obviously. We had wave blades and stuff like that and these were like my best monsters basically now i do understand i did have jj for example jj was i believe 150 when i started um and, and i had this monster obviously uh i believe i had like level 10 runes now what i'm actually gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and watch this video right here so this video right here guys take a look at this um this was my account literally when i um went ahead and created uh, my new team uh team sylvia so look at my resources by the way i had 47 billion i had 1.1 11 billion food and i had 18 gems right so take a look at this. Um, this was my account. Literally, I had 503,000 MP. Um, I was basically this was my leak. Um, but obviously, this was the old PVP, so I get that. But look at uh, my monsters, right? I was using a level 100 Diabolus. I was using 150 Adam and a 150 JJ. Obviously, look at my defense, guys. We're seeing a Grafania Iron Wings. We're seeing a Lamuna. Okay look at that yo oh my goodness what a noob yo like I, I wonder i wonder if i actually showed like my monsters no i played some treasure cave i played some of the uh colosseum and I, I think that was about it and then i was like feeding a monster right here uh and that was actually for the colosseum okay see so here okay so this wasn't actually my account by the way this is not my account just to let you guys know this is somebody else's account that i was legit like just looking at i'm like oh my gosh he has like so many ancestral monsters but uh unfortunately i didn't really show all the monsters i had um but it's crazy how much progress I've actually made. And these level 11 runes, I didn't have them before. There's a level 12 right there as well. Um, and then obviously these relics, you know what I mean? Especially this one, I don't think I actually had that either. Um, but take a look at this. So within that uh, months of, uh, you know, basically one and a half months of just, uh, you know, progressing, when I uh, try to take the uh, competitive route, uh, we got Kirk Moonwalker and I got this monster within like two days. Actually, I got it the first day, but I didn't max it out within the next day. So we got that monster 150 literally straight away. And then we have Gracial, and Gracial I also maxed out. We also, re I also recently went ahead and maxed out Everest because I really wanted this uh, Sasquatch Self Evasion because that actually helps with this. Um, so I went ahead and maxed that monster out. And I also maxed this one out, you know what I mean? This uh, Ancestral, which is one of the best. Um, so, and then we also have JJ obviously maxed out. I also got myself Caraball, and this was a Golden Legends Pass monster. I got myself Rapid Santina. Uh, I believe I had Rapid Santina, uh before I went pro i'm not sure um but i didn't i didn't really max out grafania i didn't really want to i had jj already i had i have grace heal now so i'm not going to really max out monster out until maybe later on if i really have to but uh we have diabolus still at 100 but i have extra cells for the monster i still have bashir at level 100 that's completely fine uh, I recently did hatch a Tideborn, and I'm going to actually do a review on this monster, but Tideborn will also be maxed out very soon, guys. Like, seriously, Tideborn will, will go 
to 150 very soon i got myself Goruptor, which is one of the um good monsters there as well because of the resurrection block trait um because so i had the monster and i kind of invested it but then tightborn came along and i'm like now i gotta search to tightborn you know what i mean so tightborn's going up right now ranking up but take a look at the cells okay so by the way my resources that i didn't show i have 1900 right now but i had more than that before and i actually spent it on ranking up a specific monster um so i have all that and then if we take a look at the cells here we have a thousand and twenty actual for cells for tightborn um and obviously you guys can see the, all the other ones here remaining you know what i mean um but i maxed out zoni and special monsters and my runes are actually not looking that bad it, it's looking okay i would say in my opinion obviously there's a lot of room for improvement but if we were to take a look at my runes right now take a look at this we have okay so let me let me show you guys i have three level 12s right here which is not bad and i have a level 11 that i could also throw in in there you know what i mean that we can use for one of my monsters so i'm just waiting for rune experience so that i can take those runes off of some monsters and then you know give them better ones so i've been getting those from the treasure cave i've been playing treasure cave so many so much like you guys have no idea like treasure cave i've, I've been playing it very very often in my opinion uh we're gonna go ahead and actually play a, a quick one i'm not going to spend really too many gems unless i actually have to but we're gonna just play around okay we get a hit with a traps right away on uh, room three i was actually expecting that but i've been playing a lot of treasure cave and that is how i actually got a lot of tickets um so i don't actually purchase as a ticket i think this is a bad idea this is like the, the one of the worst things you could actually do i mean unless obviously you're rich i understand you know what i mean you have money sure go go for it but i feel like it's actually like 10 times 100 times better actually if you were to just get gems here either purchase them or if you were to head over to monsterwood and complete a task get yourself thousands of gems from there or hundreds of gems really um but basically uh you can actually spend that in the treasure cave and get yourself tickets from there usually room 20 20 25 gives you a decent amount pretty good actually pretty good amount and if you could make it all the way up to room 30 or 35 or even 40 those actually do give you a pretty good amount of tickets as well so it's really up to like up to you how far you actually make it um and obviously take it do, do it at your own risk but uh, in my opinion i think that's the best way really uh taking a look at my resources uh, my food stayed basically the same if not got a little bit lower but that's okay because i basically use that to max out all my special so that makes sense and then when it comes down to my gold my gold did go up by quite a lot and then my gems as well now when it comes down to gems I actually tried to complete one of my, the Raid Shadow Legends tasks, which was supposed to give me like at least 10,000 gems. And I even spent the money and they didn't actually reward me with for any of it, which was super, super, super unlucky. And I did contact them and they said no they can't do anything so that really sucks unfortunately on their end so unfortunately i couldn't really do much with that so i just i was like you know what ten thousand gems down the drain you know what i mean even though i spent money on it it's whatever um so unfortunately i like right now i could have been sitting with like thousands of gems just laying around and i could have had even even more monsters maxed out here you know what i mean uh but right now i'm taking a little bit slow the the tideborn after tideborn once i max that monster out i'm actually going to be taking a little bit slow with the with the treasure cave and this unless i'm bored or something but treasure cave is super fun in my opinion opinion that that thing actually keeps me very entertained another thing that keeps me very entertained recently has been uh the wars uh wars and also pvp a little bit because with pvp i'm in so somewhat the lower league legendary three so i'm trying to climb up and these players i'm like it's so easy to basically overtake them and like beat them and and basically get first place really so like literally every every battle let me, let me show you guys real quick so just a quick uh example here we go into a battle here take a look at this so uh we have janza we have marimotus and that so literally a good monster compared with two bad ones like uh combined with two bad ones like th this could have been a pretty good team if if janza was paired up with two other good ancestral monsters but nope uh because of those two tanks uh this is going to be a very easy very easy win look at that straight away both of the monsters are dead it's just down to janza and janza is going to be easier to beat as well so let's see whatever she does she's probably gonna yeah she's gonna do an extra turn and that's gonna kill her so there goes that and then she comes back this is why i need tideborn by the way i do need tideborn i'm either gonna give it uh set it up on defense or i'm actually gonna use it on offense but it's really nice because now i get to actually use like multiple ancestrals together like i'm using three ancestrals here i'm using two of them here and all i, all I really need is tideborn on my team here so yeah and then uh, kirk moonwalker has been so good the, the only thing that's really bad right now is the runes obviously the runes could definitely be better and then later on obviously we could focus on um you know what i mean tideborn and also runes in general like i need a lot of good runes like high level runes that's what i really need right now uh but again our team is still growing so it's, it's really cool just just 
just waiting for us to get up there you know what i mean uh climb up the leaves and stuff like that and also another thing i've been doing um so i did actually purchase a couple of the golden Lunch passes this one i'm actually going to skip because i'm not really a huge fan of it so i've been skipping like i think the past two so i haven't really been spending too much on the gold lunches pass i think i picked up only one or two of them they do give you good runes they give you tickets as well and obviously there comes gems and stuff like that even a rank four monster this is really up to you if you want to invest in it or not but um i personally skipping this one uh maybe the next one i'll probably invest in but this one's just going to be a skip for now so in my opinion here's the thing if you are returner okay if you're if you're a either returner if you are a beginner if you are basically just coming back from retirement and going into the competitive scene and you want to basically advance very very quickly the best way to do that would be to uh, get yourself a couple thousand gems okay and i understand uh, this you might either have to complete a task free to play which again that could be done free to play if you find a good task and grind that out or if you actually just purchase gem packs right during discounts you can get 50 dollars for seven to seventeen hundred gems possibly a little bit more through the monster Gems website obviously but if you get yourself a couple thousand gems and you go ahead and play the treasure cave and get yourself those tickets those golden tickets in my opinion i think you should do this okay if you are literally just a beginner or again uh, beginner returner or just coming back the best thing to do would be to go with this one right here because this one gives you the lamp of choice and also gives you a chance to get the egg and then when you get this in my opinion the best route to take like the best monsters you should pick up straight away would be Geniza, right and then jj and then from there it's up to you you could do everest in my opinion i did everest so if you want to take that route you can so after you do everest uh after that in my opinion tideborn tideborn is really good right now because uh pretty good controller and also uh with the resurrection block uh trait that actually comes very very handy that's like very meta right now in my opinion and then from there on it's up to you uh but after i get those four key monsters i would move on to kirk moonwalker and then Gracial, in my opinion like Gracial, you guys have been taking this monster so lightly but his awakening is really good like i personally don't use his actual awakening where you just remove all the positive side effects and deal damage i mainly use it to basically just you know use this monster as a tank so for example uh the fact that this monster has megaton 25 percent damage mirror that is just so good you know what i mean in my opinion that's really really good Com just combining that with the immune to torture and damage section i feel like this monster is just so good in general with all that and you get immune to control as well which is really cool uh but all that just together is it makes the monster really good and in my opinion it's a pretty good team war monster and also pvp so very monster very good monster and very underrated in my opinion to pick up but besides pvp team wars and race i've actually gone to racing as well a little bit um we've just been going for 10 laps so i haven't gotten the chance to like just fully fully commit um but like other multiplayer battles like uh, cl classic and grand duels i haven't really played that much same with grand masters but again and like i said if you're a returner the best thing to do get a couple thousand jobs get you know what i mean these tickets as much as you can those those golden tickets tickets and uh basically just start you know trying your luck here you know what i mean get yourself those monsters maxed out it's super super easy you just need 2,000 cells you just need 2,000 cells to max out a monster from level 1 to 100 and we're talking about ancestrals so it's very very easy to rank those monster wraps uh but anyways i hope this video was helpful and i hope this video you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you guys have any thoughts or opinions or anything like that let me know in the comments down below but yeah i think you'll see the next one peace out